Hi everybody. I wanted to make a quick video. Um, there's a lot of awesome things going on. As you know, there's a new Sailor Moon anime being made in Japan. Um, it was announced on July 6th. Super excited about that as well as many people are. Um, there was a lot of rumors and confusion about what was going on. Um, be sure to check AnimeNewsNetwork.com as well, well as Sailor Moon Obsession for news and uh, MoonKitty.net. Um, as far as what's been going on with me lately, I have been feeling well and such, so I haven't been able to make any videos. Plus, my camera has been giving me a lot of trouble, um, so I haven't got any videos out for a while. So I decided I'd try one more time to try to get a video out. Um, I rearranged my whole collection room, and I've gotten a few new things. I also want to share some things I have for sale, hopefully some may be interested in. But uh, first off, um, please let me, let, let me know what you think of the new anime that's coming out. I know for myself, I'm really, really excited. This was like super news. I was up for the event that morning to watch. And, um, although what I was mainly up for was, uh, the merchandise, but they really didn't have much to talk about when it came to the merchandise. They just said there would definitely be some out, and of course if there's going to be a new anime, there's probably going to be some merchandise out, so that's also a really exciting thing. Um, but, uh, first off, I guess I'll show the new, uh, items that I have, as well as the things I'm selling. Um things I'm selling are these smile books. They feature the stars arc. I have a few of them. So this one and this one. And then that one. So I have a few of them. Um, I'm selling them for four piece. But if somebody was really interested in them, I could give you uh, one for free and just pay for the rest of them. I'm shipping them priority with delivery confirmation if you're in the United States. Um, if you're out of the country, I guess just message me and maybe we can figure something out. I'm not really interested in shipping to Italy though, basically because I've shipped there before. And a lot of people that I know have also shipped there before, and packages have either damaged or lost. So I'm sorry about that if you're from Italy. Um, I'm also selling this custom Eternal Sailor Moon doll. I've had her for a while. Um, I'm selling her basically because um, I got another Eternal Sailor Moon doll, plus I need the money, so um, I figure somebody would like her. She's got a custom dress on. She is originally a 90's Italian doll, um, and I uh, decorated her hair and put this new costume on her and stuff. She's really pretty, and I've enjoyed her the time that I've had her, but just let me know if you're interested in her. And also, I'll show off my new room and all the new things that I've gotten. So I have the figures desk over here on this side of the wall now. I put a glittery piece of uh, cardboard underneath them. I have a few new figures. These two here are brand new. Got them from somebody on eBay. So that means I have all the chibi figures now. Um, they're not like a complete set of Irwin or a complete set of Bendai, they're just a mixture of both. That's why I have some that are doubles, like I have two Venuses and I have two Mercuries. And then over here, this is my anime cell I got at 
FAE this year. I had a custom framed. I had it framed at Hobby Lobby. It was about $45 to get it framed. I got to pick out my own colors and frame and everything, so it turned out really well. I'm really impressed by the, how they did it. This is a fan art picture my best friend Marie drew for me and colored. Um, this was a black frame, a shadow box frame, and I spray painted it gold. This is another new item that I got. Bought from a friend online on Facebook. She is a official Eternal Sailor Moon plush. She was missing her wings, so I had to make new ones. My husband drew out the pattern for me, and I cut them out in the glitter felt, as you can see. Looks really cute now. My Curio Cat is in the same place. I had my custom uh, Eternal Sailor Moon doll right here. That's why she's not there. I took her down to show you. I just moved my curio cabinet over a few inches to put it more centered by the wall. I have all my Sailor Moon wands up on the wall now. These are my PGSM ones, of course. Over here I have my custom made items. This is a Super Sailor Moon doll that Luz made for me. And this is my Luna P plush that I made. And I have random Pokemon stuff here and there as well as some other anime stuff. A bunch of Pokemon figures and Shoujo Beat magazines. And this is my main event pretty much in the room. I finally got a new bookshelf. My husband got it for me for my birthday. And I have it loaded already. So it was pretty funny. I posted a picture up on Facebook and everybody's like, wow, it's a new bookshelf. You already have it full. <laughs> but yeah, it, it happens pretty quickly. <laughs> I had everything spread around and here and there so now I actually have everything that I had spread in other rooms and stuff all in the same place so it looks pretty nice. I have all my Disney dolls up here. These are dolls that I've had oh for a very long time since I was little. These are some figures that was on my birthday cake. This one here had uh, stickers inside of it. This one's a little hand mirror. It's a flounder one. That's just a regular little figure. Uh, pretty much on this shelf I have my Sailor Moon puzzles. I had these in my game collection and now they're finally in here with the rest of my stuff. My Sailor Moon comics, Mixine comic magazines, Smile magazines. Uh, just a bunch of stuff there. And then my GE stuff. My piece of candy I got at FAE from Sailor Moon Obsession. And I have my Sailor Moon Chalice. This is the one that I made. It's made out of craft foam. And glass. That I spray painted. And this is a Sailor Moon bubble bath container. It doesn't have bubble bath in it anymore, but I prefer it that way. <laughs> we don't have to worry about it like bursting open and getting all of the rest of my stuff. This is a Sailor Moon pizza shop. I got this on a trade with one of my friends, Sarah, on Facebook. Um, it's a little interesting item. It's actually been kind of laughed at at times because Sailor Moon makes pizza. <laughs> but I thought it was cute. I mean, I'm a big fan of pizza, so <laughs> Sailor Moon and pizza together is kind of cute. But anyways, there's little things that look like this. There's one for each type of pizza that's in the set. This isn't even all the pizza. There's actually more in the little pizza boxes. 
but you put this inside of it and you turn it to which one you want and then a pizza falls down into the oven and then you can grab it out of there. It's pretty interesting. It's a cute little thing. Um, then this is my crystal flower. I got this at Michael's. It is a candlestick holder and then I just put a crystal down inside of it. And then I got some Sailor Moon keychains. This is the little mat that goes with the pizza shop here. And an extra wristband. There's the little menu for the pizza shop back there. And down here I've got the Sailor Moon sound book. Bunch of Sailor Moon um, trading cards. Sailor Luna gems. This actually I've never actually shown in a video. I don't think this was my custom Sailor Moon senshi, and I haven't shown them off. So maybe one of these days I'll do that. So there are more Sailor Moon cards, and I think I have some coloring pages in here. Some more random books, art books and such. Then I have this has my paint brushes in it. I don't think I've shown this in a video either because I had this one with my paints and now I actually have it in this room. Uh, more Sailor Moon dolls. Um, I finally put the play sets together. I actually was keeping this in like a folder and I took them out and finally put them together and now that I have the room for them to display. I have an Amy doll. Sorry if you can't see really well. It's really dark in this room and that's basically the reason why I picked this room to put my collection in because uh, sun damage just can be a real problem with your collection, so. But yeah, this is an Amy doll, and then I have some custom dolls that I've actually bought on eBay and decorated their outfits. I made their dresses and such. And these are some Sailor Moon buttons. Some random ones. Uh, none of them are official, I don't think. I think they're all made. There's some manga buttons and stuff. This isn't the Sailor Moon button, but it's like a little award I had for cosplaying. And down here I have a Sailor Moon glass. And my Sailor Moon CDs. These are my figures. I think these are bootleg figures. I'm not real sure, but I think so. And my Sailor Moon doll and Mercury and Mars doll. These are Bendai dolls, original ones. Um, I'll have to show them off better in a later video. But this one here was really damaged and I took the time to search out her gloves, a tiara, um, and boots and such to complete her. So she looks really awesome now. Um, same thing goes for the Mercury and Mars. They they came rather complete. I just needed to like search out a couple things for them. Like they didn't have chokers, and Mars didn't have her shoes, and her bow was damaged and missing the little thingy. And I made it. Then I have some wallets back there, and my Starlight dolls, my Eternal Sailor Moon doll beauty change. I don't think I've shown her in a video. It's been a long time since I've made one, so I'll have to catch up on all the stuff. Um, then I got my little figures. This was a little crystal that I made. This is my jewelry box. And I actually have some extra gloves in there from a little set that I bought to complete my dolls and stuff. This is my star locket that I made. Another Sailor Moon glass. And this is my talking Super Sailor Moon doll. She says three different phrases. She's so cute. And she goes with my I IRS um, Sailor Moon wand that I have from the Super S season. So. When you push a button on her, she says her phrases that way too, so it's pretty cool. 
and I have all my manga sets. I do plan to make a video about these. I have the original first set by Kodansha, and I have the re-release ones, of course, you can see. The original ones and the Tokyo Pop ones that I have are actually in the back behind these ones. And then I have all my new ones. I do have number six. I'm just reading it right now. That's why it's not here. These are some brooches that I made out of cardboard paper. And I laminated them and cut them out just for decoration. Some custom brooches and star locket. And there's some more books back there, as you can see, and some Sailor Moon Valentines. So this is my whole large <laughs> collection of all the stuff. It's kind of uh, wowing when you come in <laughs> to the room and you see all of this stuff but as soon as you walk in. And then I have my plushes up here of the Amazon Quartet. I finally have the last one. Finally got her, so I have the complete set now, all with her tags. So I was pretty happy about that. And then, all, of course, my other stuff's over here. I don't think I have anything new over here. But, this is all the new stuff that I've gotten, and what I did with my room, we rearranged it. I will have more videos coming soon now that I have my camera working better. But uh, yeah, definitely let me know what you think of the new anime. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about it. Um, I keep an open mind about anything Sailor Moon related basically because you never know. You just never know what to expect and that's a good thing because you might actually be so, so surprised. It might uh, be interesting to see a new new graphics and all that the, they plan to do with the story and such so definitely let me know and let me know what you think of my room and some of the new stuff I had if you're interested in seeing a video especially of a certain item that I didn't show real clear or you have any questions just let me know thank you very much for watching goodbye